I'm here today at the Tunnel Target Sports Centre, which is the home of T2 Rifles, and today I'm going to be talking about the T2 9mm Rifle. T2 Rifles are designed and manufactured in the UK. The mil-spec upper and lower receivers and the fore-end are manufactured from billet T6 aluminium. All lower receivers are interchangeable between the various calibres and fit Stanag magazines. The centre fire upper receivers have an enlarged ejection port and the straight pull handle forms an ejection port dust cover. They feature a full length Picatinny top rail with M lock on three sides. The Sasson fluted match grade barrels are made in the UK in chrome molly steel or stainless steel. The bolts are designed and made by T2 to fit standard AR-15 uppers. All rifles have Magpul pistol grip and stock, mil-spec pins, buttons, levers and a muzzle brake fitted as standard. Let's take a look at the controls of the rifle. Starting at the rear, we've got a Magpul MOE adjustable stock. Moving down to a T2 straight pull charging handle. Magpul furniture, i.e. pistol grip, standard AR trigger, magazine release, T2 flared magwell, a Sasson fluted match grade barrel, and that's 16 inch, and then it's fitted with a muzzle brake. Taking a look at the other side of the rifle, Got the bolt release catch, the fire selector lever or safety catch, and then you can also see the charging handle. Before we do anything with the rifle, we need to prove that it's clear. This one has a chamber flag in the chamber, uh, but I'm just going to go through the normal safety precautions anyway, just for your benefit. So I'm going to remove the chamber flag. We're going to shoulder the rifle, pointing it in a safe direction. With my thumb, I'm going to depress the holding open button, which is the bottom of the bolt release, and then use my other hand to move the working parts to the rear. They should hold open to the rear. I'm then going to check inside the chamber, the body, and then the bolt face, just to make sure that there are no fly rounds or empty cylinders present. Don't forget to check the mag well. Run the bolt forwards, point the rifle in a safe direction, safety off, fire off the action, hold the bolt to the rear, safety on, and then we're going to flag it as well. And that way you can visibly see that the rifle is clear. To carry out routine maintenance or cleaning, you need to be able to strip your rifle. So I'll now demonstrate how you strip the T2 9mm rifle. Firstly, I'm going to remove the chamber flag and then press the bolt release and that will make the bolt run forwards. I'm then going to take an Allen key and remove the straight pull handle. Once the straight pull handle has been removed, just turn the rifle over, and then we're going to push the rear pin through. Just use your thumb or you can use a tool, and then pull out the rear pin until you hear a click. You should then be able to break the rifle in half. With the rifle in this position, we pull on the charging handle and then remove the bolt assembly. Pulling the charging handle down and then to the rear removes the charging handle. You can then shut the upper and lower together. To strip bolt assembly for daily cleaning, we do the same as we would for any other AR. So we need to remove the firing pin retaining pin. Just gonna use a pair of pliers. Just pull out the pull out the firing pin retaining pin. With the firing pin retaining pin out, you should be able to turn 
the bolt upside down. Just keep your finger in there just so you don't lose it, but then the firing pin will fall out. So you can take the firing pin out. To remove the bolt from the bolt assembly, push the bolt firmly in, twist the lug 90 degrees, and then pull it out. And then you should be able to remove the bolt from the bolt assembly. And that is the bolt assembly fully stripped for daily cleaning. To reassemble the bolt carrier group, we need the bolt carrier and the bolt, and then you want the extractor on the right hand side. And we slide that in so that the hole is uppermost. Once you've pushed the bolt in, you can see this keyway, so we want to move the bolt all the way in and just slide it so that the hole lines up. And then we take the locking bolt, push that in, and then twist that 90 degrees. And what that does is that's gonna line up the hole in the middle of the bolt so that we can put the firing pin in. Turn the bolt over, get the firing pin, And make sure it's pushed all the way in. What I do is I then leave my thumb pushing against the firing pin just to make sure that it's seated correctly. And then you can see there is a hole and that is where the firing pin retaining pin goes. So we get the firing pin retaining pin and we push that all the way in. So that's nice and flush. Now you can see the bolt is operating as it should. After we've done our routine maintenance, we pick up the rifle and we're going to push the pin, pull out the rear pin and then split the rifle. Next, we're gonna get the charging handle and this goes back in the same way it came out. So we push it in the bottom, we find the hole with the lugs and push it up and then slide it in a little bit and then with the bolt all the way forwards, we put it into the charging handle and into the body, and that should just slide in. Snap the two shut, and push down the rear locking pin. Next thing we need to do is fit the straight pull charging handle. So we have to make sure the bolt and the hole line up. Once they've lined up, get our Allen key and we just start tightening it up. There you go. And that is the straight pull charging handle fitted onto the rifle. Now that we've put the rifle back together after carrying out our routine maintenance, it's time to carry out some function checks. The idea of these function checks is to make sure that all the controls on the rifle are functioning correctly so that when you get to the range you're not going to get a malfunction or you're less likely to get a malfunction. So firstly we're going to check that the bolt holds open to the rear. So shoulder the rifle, pressing the bottom of the bolt release catch and then operating the straight pull handle and the bolt should hold open to the rear. Next we're going to press the bolt release and Hopefully the charging handle and the bolt should travel forwards, which it does. Next, very important, we're going to make sure that the safety works. This rifle is cocked, so when you pull the trigger, when it's on fire, it would go off. So we're just gonna make sure when it's on safe that it does nothing, that the rifle actually is safe. So the safety catch is working fine. And we're gonna operate the Operate the fire selector switch, switch it round to fire, and then do the same. Press the trigger, and the rifle should fire off the action. Last, but by no means least, we need to check that the rifle will hold and drop a magazine. So we're gonna get our magazine, and insert the magazine. It should hold nice and secure into the rifle. Next, we're going to operate the magazine release catch and that should eject the magazine, which it does. I'm going to 
move the bolt to the rear, put my flag back in, safety on, and then I know that this rifle is safe and that it functions correctly. So we've taken a look at the T2 specifications and features. We've gone through stripping, assembling, and the function checks. So now it's time to take it to the range. I'm here at the Tunnel Target Sports Centre and I've got the 9mm T2 rifle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some rounds down range just to see how this rifle performs. on. I got my eye protection. Take out the breech flag. So to load the rifle, get a magazine, make sure the rounds are inserted correctly and then push it in, pull it down, just make sure it's seated correctly. So shoulder the weapon and then working parts forward. Safety off. So I just got back from shooting this 9mm on the range, uh, I was just doing a little bit of dueling tree fun with it, um, and it was really good fun. In this video, I've gone through the features and specifications of the T2 9mm rifle. We've stripped it, we've assembled it, and we've carried out some function tests. Then I took it to the range. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, please give this video a like and leave a comment. It really does motivate me to make more content. If you didn't like this video, thank you very much for watching and I really hope you do enjoy some of my other videos.